Hi Aspen, welcome to your festive ICT video. Today we are going to make a Christmas card along with me and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So, Open Publisher, which you should all have through school. Um, then click on New. You have like a little search for online templates. And if you scroll down, you can see loads of different templates there. You choose which one you want to use, but I think this one's quite useful for making a card the one that says music program, push create and you will notice that it has lots of information that we do not want on a Christmas card. So I'm going to click, I am going to do control A and backspace. Now because you can't see my keyboard I'm going to try and draw you a keyboard and explain to you what I mean and where that control is. There's my keyboard there's a little button in the left hand corner that has, oh, we'll do it with a pen instead, that'll be easy, wouldn't it? Control at the same time that you push the A and then push backspace, which is about here on your keypad. Okay, we've got more information down here, which we don't want on our Christmas card. So we're going to click on the page. We're going to click Control A and delete. And the same for here, Control A, either backspace or delete will work. Um, now, we've got to think, what do we want on our Christmas card? Do we want writing? Do we want a uh, background? Lots of different options for us. Of course, you can do copy and paste um, different images that you might be able to find. But I'm going to go on online images here and I'm going to see what they already have to offer. Let's see. So I'll type in Christmas. Loads of different options there for me that I could choose. Which one do I want? Let's have a Christmas tree. I quite like a Christmas tree. Now you can either push insert or you could double click on the picture and it will display for you. You can use the corners to make it bigger or smaller to your liking. Maybe you could put more than one picture on. Now I look at that card and I think there's a lot of white on there and I don't want it as white. So I'm going to go to page display uh, tab and click on there and then over here at the right if you can see we've got background think what kind of background do I want you've got lots of different colors and you've got an option for more backgrounds I'm just going to pick a nice light blue um, for my card now I want to write some words on it so I'm going to go to insert tab word art and I'm going to select whichever one I feel like choosing you may be might want to pick a different one and I'm going to write happy Christmas what message what other kind of messages could you write on a Christmas card maybe you could uh, personalize your Christmas card so you could do one for your best friend and the great thing about these Christmas cards is once you've done it you could email it to your friend or to your teacher or you could print it out and maybe give it to a family member at home. Now, I want to customise that. I don't um, just want the outline. I want to fill that writing in. So I'm going to right click. And up here, we've got some different options. OK, I'm going to push on the little um, the paint pot. And that's going to bring up some different uh, colour options for me. I think red's quite a nice festive colour. So I'm going to put that on there. Again, you could put your make this quite nice and personal by adding another um, word art and sticking some maybe a name on there of your best friend or maybe you could put a joke on that'd be quite a cool idea wouldn't it now I look at that picture and I think it is lacking something isn't it I kind of want to put a border around my picture so I'm going to go to here where it's insert tab picture placeholder and as long as I've got my picture highlighted, can you see the difference? At the minute, it's got nothing around the picture, has it? And then when I click on it, it has a line with all these little dots around. So that's now highlighted. Up here, we've got different options of what we could choose. I think I quite like that one. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That looks OK. And again, you can add some more detail and spend longer on your cards. On here, you might want to write your message. So I'm going to go to Insert tab, draw 
text box you can just drag that along and you could write on there so i could write two let's make it a little bit bigger shall we oh so you'd highlight the text go up the top here it's got the numbers and then just make it whatever size you think is best so i'm going to write two aspen so that's to all of you happy christmas from mrs m And of course, you can make your Christmas message a lot bigger, couldn't you? Now, you could add some maybe different art on here. But again, let's recap how we put the art on. Online pictures. I'm going to pick a different picture now. Type in Christmas. And you could be more detailed in your search. You could type in Christmas tree and it will come out with um, different ideas of just what you've searched. Let's have a look what I could put in the corner. Hmm. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? I quite like that one. So I've double clicked. And I'm going to put it over here. I quite like that. And again, you could maybe find some word searches, make it quite interactive card that people could play along with. Now, on the back page, I want people to know that this is hand, this is well, not handmade, but computer made uh, by me. So again, you could put pictures in, you could to change the colour of your background, you could be very, very creative. I'd love to see what kind of cards, even if they're not for me, I'd love to see what you've actually uh, made. So I'm going to do made um, by Mrs M. And again, I can change the way that looks, I can make it nice and big. I could change the colour, so you go on the A font colour. Drop that down and I might have a nice purple colour. Um, and you could add whatever you want. You could even take a picture of yourself and put a picture of you at the back as well if you so wished. So there we have it. If one more thing which I forgot to mention, if you wanted to go and copy and paste maybe your favourite character or a favourite movie is not available on those online pictures, you can go onto the internet and copy and paste an image. Um, so I could click on an image, right click, copy, and then I'm going to go right click again and then go to my pasting options and that will copy the image there for me. Um, I'm not going to go on the internet because there's all kind of copyright rules and things, but you could check that out when you go on the internet. Okay. So, hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see your Christmas cards. Let me know if you've had a go. Um, see you all later. Bye.